Hey, what is up, guys? So, um, I'm sure you guys saw it, but if you haven't, there's a video going around of Young Thug spitting a freestyle from Jell, and I just think, um, you know, after watching the video and listening to Young Young Thug's freestyle, I, I really felt bad for the guy. You know, I know, like, if you read a lot of the comments on the DJ Academics page, you see a lot of people really not feeling any sympathy for him, you know. We're just stating that, well, he put himself in that situation. His second chance was basically the success that he was enjoying. And now he's asking God for another chance. You know, in the freestyle, he's specifically asking God for another chance. And he, he talks about contemplating suicide and you can hear how down he is. I'm sure he's going through withdrawals because he is being put in isolation. So he's not with population. So he doesn't, I'm sure he doesn't have um, easy access to drugs and stuff. So he's going through withdrawals. He, everything is probably running back in his mind of all the things he was doing and the lifestyle he was living and, and all the regrets are just building up and there's nowhere to go and distract yourself, you know, with drugs or with spending time with your children, which he raps about. He raps about ri riding bikes with his children and going to grab ice cream. It's honestly, I, I mean, I, I have tremendous sympathy for him, whether he did it or not, you know, whether he was involved, the reality is, you can, uh, at the very least, empathize, empathize with his situation and the things he's going through, you know, just human to human. And, uh, you know, he you can really hear that he's going through some terrible things. However, as you guys know, um, he still ha ha has a case to fight. He hasn't pled guilty or anything, so he still has a battle to go through. But even getting to that point is at least another year in prison. And seeing from the YNW Melly case, although that's a capital homicide case, you know, it, it, these these cases get delayed, man. And the legal system is a tricky, tricky system. It doesn't matter if you're innocent or guilty, to be honest with you, you know. The, the legal system, the games lawyers play and judges and, and the procedures and the precedents and the law, it's all very complicated. It's time consuming. It's money consuming, you know, and being inside, he's not he doesn't have any income coming in. So he, he's definitely going through a terrible situation. Um, you, you can kind of sympathize with him uh, considering what he's going through. I'm sure you guys at home also are able to some degree sympathize. I know some of you guys don't give a shit and just think, well, if you were living that criminal life, these are the consequences. Either way, you're both right, honestly, you know. Um, it, it is reality. There's probably a lot of people who are on the streets who commit murders and other acts and then end up in prison. And whilst they were on the streets, they were probably influenced by the people around them. They were influenced by drugs. You know, and then when you when you're sitting alone in a cell, sobering up, all that stuff starts to come back and you start to realize all your regrets. I'm sure anyone listening who's had who's, you know, lived any life that was kind of uh, you did some bad shit, you know, whether you were cheating on your girlfriend or wife or, or some shit and eventually you got caught for it or you, you had a drug habit and eventually, you know, you lost your children or, or you you failed at school you know you you know you could have done better but you you didn't and then eventually reality kicks in and now you have to consider it you have to you know basically pay the consequences for your actions and there's no other way to distract yourself you know that feeling of sorrow you know some degree self-pity you can kind of hear the self-pity and what he's saying he's also discussing how he's regretting some of the, he, he's considering whether some of the people he was around were a bad decision you know so i just wanted to make a video about that uh oh i don't i wonder what you guys think you know let me know what you guys think whether you agree that you know do you feel sympathy for young thug Assuming he was guilty of the things alleged, would you still feel sympathy for young thug? Would you, you know, are you able to empathize with his situation? Or do, do you think that it's not worth it and that he was living that lifestyle? And those are the consequences of it. And there probably are victims, you know, to, to the actions of YSL and so on and so forth. And you weren't necessarily thinking about that whilst you were playing this big boss dog uh, big blood is what they call him, you know. 
um, big slap or whatever. So that's his current situation. He really sounds to be going through it. Uh, you know, listening to the freestyle, it was easy to symp- sympathize. And also, it was probably one of his best freestyles to date. Not only freestyles, but lyrics in general. He was actually rapping and like saying things that make a lot of sense. He was really rapping in that freestyle, basically. It wasn't all the mel- melody, you know, melodic type of things that he does. It was serious raps. But, you know, those type of situations create those type of... Uh, uh, those t- those type of actions, you know. Um, let me know what you guys think. You can check it out. I know DJ Academics posted it. I'm sure it's it's everywhere on the internet right now. It's uh it's him freestyling from prison, from jail. Peace. <laughs>